the person to whom it happened doesn't feel comfortable. There were instances when I was harassed by close friends. Well, what do you do? Where do you go? So what can I do in that You don't case? know what to do. Having worked with students in the past, uh, we've realized that often we only respond when something goes wrong. Um, so Radio in a Purse became a way for us to reflect and create a space of sharing and listening um, before we react to issues of sexual harassment or any other form of discrimination. So it, became, um, it began actually as an audio platform uh, where students could have anonymity and where there could be a space for them to share their experiences without any fear or morality or judgment. It was very, very clear that they had done it. So you end up like left without any recourse, which ends up leaving me very angry for not being able to do something about it. Radio in the Purse makes me feel less alone. Um, just the act of listening to the archive is initially frustrating, but it's also relieving uh, because it helps me step outside my own fears and anxieties of navigating public space, navigating my own campus and really listen. I believe that a platform like this is particularly important in the current political landscape, especially for college students and in academic spaces, because there is a huge taboo around these issues. These topics are very sensitive and are hushed. that there are different ways to explore the nuances of harassment and as a victim of sexual harassment myself it taught me there are different ways to have to deal with this experience which I didn't know existed. It is mandated by the University Grants Commission to have internal complaints committees to deal with sexual harassment within campuses. It is also mandated by the UGC to have gender sensitization workshops to interact with the student body around these issues. Unfortunately, both of these functions don't seem to be working too well. There's a lot of stigma around sexual harassment. Even just talking about gender in colleges is difficult. So that was the reason we started talking about the need for a space like Radio in Purse. It will also help uh, students speak freely, which in colleges is, is a really big issue right now. It ju not just about problems like sexual harassment, but other problems that they have with the management as well. I think personally, as a student, all of us are affected by this culture of harassment that exists both on campus and off campus. And the only way to bring about or even think about bringing about any change is by directly getting involved. And I think a good way to get involved is by contributing to Radio in a Purse. It doesn't matter if this contribution is large or small, but that contribution of yours implies that now you are taking direct ownership and you're taking a stance which is very important. Your contribution will move towards fulfilling a bunch of goals. One is that the radio can travel to more campuses across the country. Two is that radio in a person facilitate more workshops around gender and sexual harassment. Um, third is that we can maintain the website and build on the archive and eventually make it multilingual. Um, fourth is that we can uh, organize more events in public spaces. Fifth is that we can conduct research around existing conditions of sexual harassment on campus organizing in terms of volunteering, in terms of spreading that, that network. For me, Radio in a Purse is a lot about, about the network and, and if you tell your friends about it, if you get people comfortable talking about it, you're already contributing to the problem. And I think that will, that will make a huge difference.